Oh my god, I put my stuff in the margin. The floaters. Just come up. I put it literally for all my swap with porridge. Porridge plate. Right, you absolute legends, welcome back to the Chunks of Fishing channel. I'm actually at Willow's Lake at Auburn's Lakes. Back here again. I've had some pretty good sessions here in the past with Callum the Camo King. After last week's session, hopefully I'm gonna get my first fish on a zig this session. I have got the right rod on adjustable at the moment, measured the depth, had a little mark around, found a nice gravel spot out there. It's actually quite a lot of silt down this end, which is quite surprising because it's supposed to be all hard. But yeah, I found another gra a nice gravel spot, quite big. 11 and a half wraps out so i'm fishing on the edge of it right next to the silt which is uh hopefully going to be a good spot to pay off i've only got a couple singles and mesh bags on there out at the moment so i haven't put any bait out it's going to be hot it's going to be sticky i've got a whole load of slop in that white bucket load of slop and then a load of spod mix for the bottom bait so i'm going to put a load of bottom bait out as well it's going to be a lot of bait going out there because there's a lot of fish in this lake and a lot of cats that like to chomp everything so yeah, home base has all been set up. I've got the little one with me. She's absolutely passed out, conked in the bivvy over there. And I've got my sister over there. And I've actually got another special guest who I'll introduce to you guys later. But yeah, it's gonna be good. Hopefully only here for overnight, so 24 hours. See if we can pull a couple out. We'll just have some good times on the bank. Right, that's all the slop out. That's uh, a lot of spotting and it's ridiculously hot. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, all the slop and the bottom baits, the rods are back out. Leave them now, hopefully till the evening. Bite time, see how it goes. I'm actually gonna teach Corinne how to do a bit of spawning. She's never spawned before, so she's just mixed the bait up. Might be a bit tricky with this ledge here. But yeah, she's got a spawn, got the wolf X spod, spod rod, gonna give her a lead. Hopefully uh, teach her how to wrap up and stuff like that and uh, see how she goes with it. Higher, above your head. Uh. Yeah, so what you're gonna do, your left arm's gonna pivot up and your right arm's gonna come down as if you're gonna cut with an ax sort of thing. Okay. Not bad. Now what you wanna feel, if you no, don't just reel in like that. Use, just move your lower rod tip to the left and feel with the bottom. I know, so it does like big strokes. So you wind back into it. Yeah, I can feel it. Now, what does that feel? Does it feel bumpy? Does it feel clean? Does it feel silty? Bumpy, like gravel. Is that, can you feel the thing? I can see the bumps at the end there. Yeah, yeah, it's bumpy. bumpy. Yeah. That's a clip. So obviously you lift, you'll remember to start lifting your rod after you cast it. See yeah. how you're just pointing at it. So now have a drag back. Hit the clip, that's it. So you want to do that, do that at eight and a half wraps every time on the spot in line with that bush. 
about ten times. Ten times, I reckon, with that. Ten times ain't that much. And then you've got a little bed of boilies out there then. And then what you do, you wrap your bait, your actual fishing rod up at eight and a half wraps and you fish it on that spot. <laughs> well, we're all just literally just, I've just been showing Roy out of spot. And this middle rod, bottom bait on the 11 and a half wraps. Oh, there we go. Just screamed off, didn't it? <laughs> That was a proper bite, like you said. Sam's going straight for your swim at the moment. Don't feel anything monstrous, it's just... It's always the smaller ones that have better, like, fight, so... But yeah, that's the uh, middle rod on the Pickering rig. I haven't put any... I put some spot, like sloppy spot over it for the zig, but in terms of bottom bait, not much at all. Hopefully, if they're there, Myers rod hopefully might tear off in a minute. Which would be good. Lots of water on those lands. Yes. Lots of It's alright, it's gone under it. This is mental. It's probably just wiped up my other lines there. Oh, there's some pops on pops. I want to tighten this up a bit. That's those. Uh, I'll just, just let it do its thing. I've got so much confidence. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back. You didn't finish the sentence, it no, doesn't matter. No, stop! <laughs> stop! Come on. No. Come on. Stop it. Stop. 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 Here we go. Come on. He's in. Oh, that's it. Here we go. Oh. How, that mirror gives me such a run around. It's not that big, is it? <laughs> right then, guys. We're off the mark. Off the mark with this angry, angry mirror. Let's put some more carp care on them. Nice and wet, so hot today guys, gotta to keep the fish so soaking wet with the lake water. Right, and we're off to Market Willows. I haven't even introduced the person behind the camera yet, we'll introduce him soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's fortunately not a fish on the zig, but this mirror put up a hell of a fight. Absolute mental. It put up an absolute monster. I mean, it took me about 10 minutes to get in, didn't it, Sam? It did. Ridiculous. It's only about, probably say, 12, 13 pound, but it saved the blank, so I'm happy. And this was off the bottom on an OG fish wafter. Yep, it's doing the business as always. And that's over a half a bucket of bait. So yeah, they're definitely feeding off the bottom. It might be worth topping it up, which it well, definitely is now, isn't it? So yeah, awesome. Great to be off the mark, like, off the mark. We'll get it back and uh, we'll keep going. I forget a few more. All right, update for myself. It's uh, probably the hottest day of the year. I think it said it was about 30, 31 degrees. It's mentally hot at the moment out here. Just put another layer of sun cream on. Uh, obviously had the one mirror, which is good, off the bottom, believe it or not. 
in this condi in these conditions it's been really tough i think uh the sister and the and Maya, so the girls are thinking about leaving a bit earlier because it's a bit too hot for them um which means i get a whole nice double bivy to myself but yeah i said i was with another guest i'm actually with sam from sam and evie fishing on youtube Hello everybody. Believe it or not, me, or Sam, me and Sam were actually primary school mates uh, years ago, wasn't it? And like we said before with carp fishing, it makes you, it brings you back together, like loads of people you haven't talked to for years. Yeah. And we just started talking again because we both know we both love carp fishing. Uh, Sam's channel was going really well at the moment, he's pretty much just started it up. Absolute banging session down linear on Braze Nose 2. I'll leave the link in the description below and I'll leave the link here. Go check it out, guys. It's doing views. Uh, you actually tore up, didn't you? How many 20s and 30s you get? Uh, two 30s, uh, probably 12, 13, 20s, and the rest were doubles, and another 10 or so doubles. That's a big hit. Yeah. Big hit at Brazen, though. Something I'm really desperate to get myself. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been really, it's, this session's been quite tough, isn't it, mate? It's been a. Uh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. It's been, um, yeah, it's been pretty tough. We've done what we can. We've had the zigs out all day. You had a, just sort of like a missed take on a zig yeah. a second ago. It wasn't a bream take because it, it did rip a bit of line off and then it must yeah. have just I've just topped up the swim at 11. Slip yeah. So the slicks from my bottom bait keep coming up. There's something feeding on it. I'm pretty, I think I'm, I've got my suspicions it's bream because I reeled in my lines not too long ago and it had, uh, had a good bit of slime on it. Something's down there having a snuffle. It's hot. It's really bloody hot. It's making me lazy. It doesn't want to hit. Yeah, I don't want to eat. Drink as much water as I can. And I think the fish aren't going to turn on. I think if they turn on, it's going to be really late evening. Yeah. Late evening when the sun drops. It's, it's, what's it going to drop? Lowest is about 17 degrees through the night. So. 17 degrees. It's going to be really a hot one. Yeah. So we'll probably have to wait till then, guys. That's hopefully where we're going to get a bit more action. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm going to cook some food in, in, a, in a bit. And just try and stay out the bloody sun. Oh my God. So I put my slop in the margin. Spook something. Spook something. Sam's just put a rod right there. And I've been spamming the whole time. He's got it. He's in. He's in. He's in. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've been spamming the whole time right here. And it's just not. What is it? Is that a cat? I don't know. Oh. That's all that slop I put in that margin. I might have to put a rod in there tonight, you know? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a rod there. Because they'll keep coming back, won't they? But yeah, there's a lot of mix there. You spooked them, didn't you? And they come spooked back. Spooked them, yeah. Later. I've got that all on camera. <laughs> I've got the tape on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. There it is, it's out there. I can see it. Yeah, come over here, mate. Come over this side of the rod. That is so sick. I should have put a rod there. So you're right. I just didn't have any rods free. I was like, I was shaking. That's a nice fish, hang on. I was trying to get the tube in on it. So I, I just had a bream on the, it was a double take by a bream, <laughs> which is a bit annoying. Oh, I've got someone else's rig on there. Look at that. Oh, shit. I've got someone else's rig. Interesting. But in other news, <laughs> that margin, look at this thing, this. Is lit, that's a nice common, mate. That common has literally come from here. Well, where it's sitting now. Where it's pretty much where it's <laughs> sitting now. That's not a bad one at all, is it? it that's a great fish. Sam, that's a great fish. I think it 
But yes, that's a 20. I thought it might be, oh, I don't know. If it's not, it'd be close. Right, so it's spawned out. It's very flat in the belly because they spawned here a few weeks ago, but it is an absolutely crazy long common. And he's angry. That's so long. Jesus Christ. It's so long. <laughs> It's got, I think it's got a little bit of ghosty in it. Underneath its mouth, it's got a little bit of sort of ghosty, but that is really long. If that's not spawned out, that's a good 20 pounder, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be close. That tells, hang on, look at the sign of that paddle. <laughs> that paddle, oh, here it goes. That paddle is a monster. And that fish was in a foot and a half of water. <laughs> and we, we couldn't even see it properly. We couldn't even tell if it was a carp or a bream or anything. We we just saw the vortexes coming up. God, I don't even know if this is all in shot because it's so long. But look at that. I'd say it's maybe an upper double, could possibly be a 20 pounder. Um, yeah, it could possibly be a 20, but if it wasn't spawned out, it would be a very, very good fish because its belly is very flat. But I'm gonna get some Steals of it now, get it put back. What a result. And wait. <laughs> and wait. <laughs> Ready? Lift. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was wrong. 22. Yeah, it's 22. 22 pound, mate. That wasn't spawned. Spawned 23, 24. Right, that is it. That is all f three rods. I'd say four. Three rods out there and i've got three on the spot basically at the moment well to be fair i've got a solid bag and a bit shorter on the right rod i took the zig off it so right rod's on a solid bag a bit shorter than 11 having a bit wrapped you can actually see the oil slicks from up here that's pretty crazy actually to be fair with the polaroids on but yeah and the two two rods on the left on the og fish wafters on the bottom at 11 and a half how mental was that watching sam catch that fish that 22 pound of right from our feet literally i was spotting and it was, i could see it in my swim and i was like there's a fish there and I just put my rods out for tonight. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to pick you up now, Sam. I'm going to make it out I gave you the fish. <laughs> yeah, I had the two rods out on the bottom. And uh, obviously, I'd already had one, and Sam hasn't had one yet. And I thought, Joe, what? Sam, go bring a rod and get this uh, 20 pounder by my feet. <laughs> yeah, fair play to him. Good angling. Real good angling. Uh, look, their fish are showing on the spots as well, which is good. I think tonight we're going to get a few more, I think. I'm hoping they'll turn on. It's looking good. They're a lot more active now that the sun's dipping and the temperature's dropping. But I'm really going to get some food on, guys, because I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, and I'm just going to enjoy the evening. I'll update you if we have anything in the night and if we have anything else. Fuck it, I need to pull my rod in. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just done the same thing at this margin. I'm putting a rod in tonight. Oh, it's got I'm to be done, a rod mate. In. It has to be done. Jesus, I nearly pulled the f water. My phone's <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> right, guys, so as you've probably seen from Sam, I've got this fish. Two seconds, how long was that? 45 seconds to a minute. Literally dipping it just there. Oh, mate, that's a big. It's on Myers Rod. <laughs> mate, just there on the margin. Another half decent combo, mate. I'm standing, I think. That's what it is. I might put the back of this stuff. Still, still smooth, though. I think you might have to. Oh no, no, no. That's gutting guys, so the reel jammed up as it went for a run and it snapped me off. 
because I think it's got it's, it's rough, isn't it? Yeah, I just dipped it in the lake and it's a bit better, but there's some stuff in it somewhere. Oh, it literally jammed me up, guys. Oh, but again, literally 45 seconds, put it in that margin after we saw some swirling. So I'm gonna put a load of bait in there, leave that for tonight, cut in that. So everyone, the right rod, margin, flows off this morning, it's about half four, ten past four in the morning, and uh, we managed to pull ourselves a nice Willows Lake ghosty, look at that, <laughs> beautiful, I don't think I've had a ghost, I don't think I have had a ghosty out of here before, yeah. and it was a right angry little thing, and this came off that margin rod which makes up for the one we lost earlier which is good so happy with that the other side looks like it's spawned out so yeah happy days sort of makes up for the lost fish that's two fish now we managed to have out right by our feet in that margin that just goes to show you don't have to fish all the wraps all the time look at that Beautiful ghosty. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. All right. Cool. Okay, let's get this fish back and then we can get back to bed. All right, it's been mental. So, just put that, uh, that ghosty back and uh, put another one in there. And again, literally just here. So, yeah, that's uh, screamed off again. So I'm gonna get some more bait in that margin spot, whack it there, and get another solid bag on and get ready to go again. <laughs> so no less than half an hour after putting that rod back in that margin spot after that ghosty. Look at the, this other angry comma we managed to get. Look at that, it's a bit bigger, it's probably my biggest fish of the trip. So yeah, that's uh, probably about 14, 15 I reckon. Lovely fish. <laughs> Absolute gorgeous colours on it. <laughs> it's a lovely looking fish that. Well happy, that's third fish for me. Again, off that margin spot. Crazy where they're coming from. Crazy. But we found them. We know where they are. It seems to be doing the trip. Right, so we get a couple more before we have to pack up and go home. <laughs> Yes. Well, that was actually mental, guys. That was literally, again, third run this morning. Off the marge spot. This is going to be the third fish and fourth tape. Of the spots which will be there. Hey. Old warrior of the common man. No. Stop. Just stop give in. Give in. Give in. Oh. They fight like mad in there, don't they? Oh, they're so angry. Oh no, he's alive. Hey, he's dropped it. He's dropped it, dropped it. He's dead. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, Sam, mate. What the hell? That was a screamer, wasn't it? <laughs> All again, guys. From there. Just there. Might get a little bit more bait out there. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go and get some more mixers out. And would you believe it? Sammy boy over here. He's had one off the top. Good. Yeah, good. Good work on that, mate. It was good effort. That was quick, wasn't it? When you put it back out. Right. So, everyone. As an eventful morning continues, as I was playing in this one, Sam's surface rod goes off. So we've got a lovely little treat for you. Oh, he looks beautiful, that one, isn't he? That's a gorgeous mirror. Looks like I've got an old warrior of a common from here. And Sammy's got, oh, this one too. Oh. Sam's got it. There you go. Beautiful mirror. Look at that. That's quality. That is quality. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Well done, mate. Yeah, good for a double take. Quality, mate. <laughs> definitely a chance for another one on the top of the ground. Look at him. Beautiful. <laughs> Love a double take. Nothing <laughs> better. Good stuff, mate. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll get these guys back, and it's a good round up, I think, to a good session. Yeah. Hard to start with, but we grafted, and the fish are coming on now. So, yeah, good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Right, so it's probably about half seven, eight o'clock now. I'm going to start to slow pack down. I'm going to cook a bit of food first, I think, but just start packing up a few things, maybe move the car over to the swim, get ready. What well, also double take, as I'm speaking now, Sam's still fishing off the top and he's got another one landed. Looks like it's in. Good boy. <laughs> so he's racking up the numbers now. His uh, tactic of going on the top this morning has obviously paid off. I would do the same, but I'm being a bit lazy this morning. I think oh, I can't be bothered. I need to start packing down. So, because Maya left me because of the heat yesterday. I've got to pack up all of her bed chair, the two man bivvy. Got to do all of that, so yeah, gonna get all that done. If anything else happens, guys, I'll let you know. It's all chubby over here. <laughs> if, uh, if the car falls start there, I might have a Sam said he's, yeah, do you want the next one? I think I might do while I've been sweating away, packing away, jealous watching him. But it is getting really hot now. We'll see if uh, one hooks up. Oh no, yeah, I'll get a little place here, it looks like. If I get that, I'll get a photo in the water with it as well, mate, if that's possible. No, say that again. All right, I've got to give you some thanks, Sam. It was, about, it was your rod. But yeah, a bit of fun on the top, at down willows. A bit of surface fishing with this lovely little mirror. Right. Probably, <laughs> probably maybe just under 10 pound, maybe just hitting it. Not too sure, but it's all good fun, isn't it? Great fun on the surface. Last look at her. We'll get a couple of steals and then we'll put her back. Great fun. <laughs> well done, mate. Lovely. Right, that's about it from me, guys. I've literally just started to pack down. Rods are still out, but I want to bring them in last, obviously. Yeah, that was great fun. Having a bit, just getting one off the top for a fruit like Miss Sam's rod. I think we're even now. He had one out of my swim, I've had one out of his swim. <laughs> I think we're even. So yeah, five fish overall for me guys, really good fun. And it goes to show, never neglect those margins. Those margins are dangerous. You've got to imagine how many people throw their light bait in, in the margin at the end of the day. And it goes to show the carp know it. Anyway guys, I hope you like this episode. Make sure you like, share the video if you can, and give us a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're a good crowd and we all get on really well. So yeah, once again, you're the absolute legends guys. Thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next one.